Okay, now this is my... Hi, I'm Ben, and this, now this is my review on Mary Poppins Returns. Now, this one I saw with my aunt and my mom, similar to Mission Impossible Fallout. Now, I never saw the first Mary Poppins. Okay, maybe I did, but once, and it was years ago. Oh, I actually have it recorded on PVR, and I was going to watch it, but uh, it was too late. But yeah, even as someone who hasn't watched the Mary Poppins first one, or it's been years since I watched the first one, this is still a great movie. I like Mary Poppins, the actress who played her was really likable, the story was nice, I love the scene where they go into the pot and everything's like hand-drawn and they're live-action, I love that part, because i never seen a hand-drawn animation mixed with live-action movie since Looney Tunes back in action. I know a lot of people are going to point out, well what about this movie, this movie, this movie? Well, I haven't seen any of those, because I feel like there might be R, but yeah, I, I would like to see more hand-drawn animated movies about mixed with live action, like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, or Space Jam, or Space um, Looney Tunes Back in Action. Also, it's weird how after Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which was basically a Disney movie, Sort of, like there's some Warner Brother characters in there, and it's by some something else, I think TriStar, I don't know. Oh, the one with the meteorites. And Who Framed Roger Rabbit made a live-action, hand-drawn animated hybrid movie, but then later in years, Looney Tunes started to make two live-action, hand-drawn hybrid movies. I'm surprised Disney didn't start it, because it is kind of a Disney pro project. Oh, I know I'm supposed to be talking about Mary Poppins Returns, but, um, did you know Robert Zemeckis, the director of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, you know how he did those live-action CGI, mostly CGI movie, motion capture CGI anime movies, like Polar Express, Mars Needs Moms, <laughs> well, seeing how Mars Needs Moms bombed at the box office, and his studio was shut down. He was originally going to do the exact same scene, but with Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I kind of want to know how they're going to do that, because Who Framed Roger Rabbit with live action and hand-drawn animation. Here would be CGI animation that's trying to look like real people, but mixed with hand-drawn. Like, how would they pull that off? But I'm talking about Mary Poppins Returns, yes. My favorite part is the classic hand-drawn, and it's drawn in the traditional Disney classic look with um, with a nice old-fashioned Disney look. We should have more animated, hand-drawn anime movies like that in today's cinema, because I would like to see those. But, yeah, so that's not what the movie's about. But, yeah, anyways... I don't know what to, else to say about the movie. Um, Mary Poppins, the actress who plays her, was very likable and nice. The the boy who takes on the mantle, I mean the boy who's the father now. No, like there are parts where I'm like, where he gets frustrated at the children because of his job. But there's moments where he's crying and, he, and I'm like, oh, he needs a hug because his wife died, which is a big cliche in Disney movies. And, and, yeah, so there is a lot of movies where he does that, so, I mean, there's a lot of, so, yeah, I feel bad for the main character, and, and the kids are, and you kind of understand them. There is a lot of singing and dancing in this movie, like, there's one scene, there's, like, where it's a serious scene, then it goes to a dancing scene. There's a serious scene, then it goes to a singing and dancing scene. And there are a lot of fun, and there's moments where I want to get up and dance and have fun. But this is a lot of fun movie. A lot of people will say the movie is a bit too childish, but my aunt and mom really liked it. And like I kind of like that it has a nice childish sense of humor. And, oh, Dick Van Dyke was in the movie, because... I didn't know he played two characters. He played the chimney sweet guy and the guy who owned the bank in the first movie, but he owns the bank here, and he's all grown up and old because, well, Dick Van Dyke has to be old. Because I thought he was going to return as the chimney sweet guy, and 
and they're just gonna CGI his face, but they didn't. I thought they were gonna do that. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed Mary Poppins Returns. Um, um, I enjoyed it too, and okay, my leg's starting to hurt, so I hope you enjoyed.